G'day everyone, how are you going? Been a long time in between drinks of, uh, of doing a post, so it's over the Christmas period, so I thought that I would uh, come to you with another video. Uh, today, we're just uh, in the GLC at the moment, and we're on the way to Napa, which is one of my uh, suppliers uh, in my business. I'm actually just going to go and pick up a uh, Red Arc uh, Tow Pro Elite brake controller to fit into the D-Max. I've had one on before, this one's playing up a bit, so um, Red Arc's already uh, sorting us out, but I'm just going to go and pick up uh, a new one from them now because it's the Christmas period and going away in a few days um, with the caravan, so I uh, just need to get all that set up. Uh, so first of all, just want to wish everyone a, a happy and safe uh, holiday season uh, and uh, let's get into today's video. Awesome. Not much traffic on the roads today, which is good. Being the Christmas period, not many people out. I think today's the first day or something like that. You sort of lose track of what day's what when you uh, when you don't have your usual day-to-day -to, -day to, to go about. Um, but yeah, today's video, we're actually gonna get stuck into uh, some of the comments that I've been getting on some of the D-Max videos that I've posted over the last year. So we're gonna go into that in a little bit more detail uh, today. Uh, and that's to do with uh, some of the modifications that are done to it, the cost of those parts. So we'll, we'll do a full rundown and breakdown uh, on those style of um, components that I've put onto the vehicle, uh, right away from like the rims, the color and all that sort of stuff. It's something that I get all asked all the time. Uh, so this video is gonna encompass all of uh, those sorts of uh, questions. And also, uh, I thought that it would be uh, prudent as well because uh, talking to one of my guys at IDB WA that did the install uh, when I went back for a recent uh, wheel alignment and to get some new boots on the GLC here. Uh, we were talking about the D Max, and he's done a fair few uh, D Maxes now, and what he's come back to us with that is quite common is that it seems to be uh, a couple of combination of parts seems to yield better results than other components um, when you're doing a suspension lift and UCA so I'll talk about that later in the video uh, as well so first up let's get to Napa and get the Topo Elite all right, well, yep. Sorry, I just forgot when I was yep. to grab them up. All right, got the Topro, good to go. squirt and this beast and now it's time to talk more about this little rig here which is what today's uh, video is about so what I wanted to do 
is um, really run over basically all of the uh, major parts and bits and pieces that we've done on this car. Just to give everyone a little bit more of an insight into the actual mods and, and all that sort of stuff because like I said uh, at the start of the video, just get a lot of uh, a lot of people asking similar sort of questions all the time about what's the lift, what's the tires, what's the cost of this, what's the cost of that, um, all that sort of stuff. So I want this video to just be the definitive video of, of all those sorts of things. It's just to give everyone a little bit more insight into uh, the project overall. Uh, so yeah, so we'll start off, uh, we'll get the car out and then uh, we'll run through the list. Uh, just another one as well. Uh, if you haven't checked uh, these guys out, you probably should do yourself a favor. So they're called uh, Patina Research. They're on Instagram. They do shirt collections and all that sort of stuff. Now you might not be into this, but I am, especially with um, the Merc and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely go check them out. Pretty cool Instagram page. Lots of old school 90s JDM, uh, early Euro stuff as well. Um, just really cool videos put together with um, with uh, with the crew over there. They're from Canada, um, but yeah, all their merchandise that they do is really good. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything like that. I just think uh, if anyone's interested, because I probably will get questions in the video of what the what the shirts from and where it is. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know as well. So just go check them out, Patina Research uh, on Instagram. Shifted the cars around. Move this out so it's a little bit easier to walk around. Yep. All right. Well, we might as well get stuck into it and just slowly go through one by one. So, first thing, tyres. So the tyres and rims. 295 7017. Uh, the rims are a KMC uh, Impact Ole, and I've custom powder coated these in a gold matte pearl. Uh, you can sort of see, if I, I don't know if you can sort of see in the sun, it's got a little bit of a fleck to it, but other than that, it's a matte finish. Um, really hard wearing finish as well. Um, these have been nearly been on now coming up to about 18 months so they're doing really well uh maxis razor mts the at version is really good as well we use that a lot on the uh, in my work um uh, the at 811 that's a really good tire um 295 7017s now in terms of uh the offset of the rim the rim is a zero offset so as you can see, if I get to a bit of a side shot, there's a little bit of poke, but it's nothing, nothing terrible. Uh, so yep, so zero or plus one uh, is is good, and it's also good for the uh, clearance on the vehicle as well. Now on full compression uh, with this Dobinson kit, I have actually have actually damaged a little bit of the body uh, on one particular trip which has pulled that down but it's nothing major um, so that just happened on a on a um, full compression zone that I went through uh, but it's nothing you know I can just bend it around and cut it off if I want to but I just haven't been bothered um, so that takes care of the rims in terms of price for these uh, I think, you know, 18 months ago, I think all up it was about uh, 2.4 uh, for the rims. Uh, was another 18 months or so for the four uh, tyres as well. So, uh, yep, so a bit over 400 and something dollars, including balance and alignment there as well. And that was done by IDB um, WA. In terms of suspension, on the back, on the back we're running uh, Dobinson uh, Remote Res, <clears throat> and then Tough Dog uh, Heavy Duty Leaf Spring Kit on the back um, with the 
uh, three inch shackle a riser on that in the front we're running uh, Dobinson uh, MRR which is fully adjustable uh, and that's also preset at just a bit over three inches as well closer to three and a half um, wound up to and then we're also running Iron Man's uh, UCA which I do have the recall on that at the moment as well that needs to be affected and then we've gone for underneath here we've gone for a PSR diff drop that we've done on this as well so not the Munji it's a PSR diff drop that we elected and that's going to be important later on in the video or I might save it for another one uh, one day but yeah I did a PSR diff drop on that uh, and then the total cost for the lift UCA uh, and the Gucci diff drop was just a bit over uh, five grand installed. Uh, and this is AUD, of course. Uh, and then moving on to other modifications that we've done on here as well. So I installed a fabulous uh, fabrications snorkel kit. Relatively easy uh, install, did it myself, took about two or three hours. Um, scariest parts, obviously. Cutting this out, so I just used a uh, air hacksaw to cut that out and just put a heap of tape all over it and, and cut that in. Uh, this is the satin black finish, I've been asked that several times as well. So yeah, I just went for the satin black finish. Um, I think it looks nice and late, uh, matches the rest of the car pretty well as well uh, in that sense so that was about $880 um, and that included postage as well so and that was you know all of these sort of prices are 18 months two years ago now so um, you might not have the same luck in terms of costings um, for these sorts of parts but uh, just to give you a bit of inside information uh, the next thing that we've done is the trail bait off-road uh, light bar kit so it's a steady um jesus i can't even remember the name of it now i think it's an sr22 model or something like that anyway it was supplied at, uh, by trail bait off-road uh simple case of just taking the front bumper insert off and then self-installation so it wasn't too hard uh, works really well uh it's pretty good spread um there's better ones on the market of course but i wanted sort of just the um, sort of stealth look um, so it does everything that I want some people put them on the roof and stuff which um, which I just don't think is necessary I like the sort of just frontal look where it's just in behind the um, front factory grill uh, so other people have asked me am I going to do a front um, bumper at any stage probably not uh, I just don't need to see the need to spend another few grand on doing a bumper and adding further weight sort of stuff but that's my personal opinion everyone's entitled to their own opinions of course uh what else have we done on here done the gme um antenna um which is the xrs 370 uh, outback pack um so i've just mounted that all under the center console inside and then just the antenna mount with a vogue industries mount that was an absolute pain in the ass to fit it took hours to fit because you had to take off the whole uh, mirror so i would probably never do that again they now do one that can just mount um straight under here which is a lot easier so uh yeah i wouldn't recommend getting the vogue industries although i do like the look of it on the antenna uh, on the mirror area i do think that looks does look good but just for ease of use in the future for anyone's reference i would um i would just get the, the bonnet mount version instead uh what else have we got that we've done on this vehicle uh not too much else uh, pretty uh we've done the tune of course which made a made a massive difference to the overall drivability of the car so definitely if you're doing this sized um tire rim combination with lift uh, i would definitely recommend uh, getting a tune because that'll make a, a massive difference to the overall performance of the car. Uh, in terms of costs for all those sorts of things, so the trail bait off-road kit, 
I can't really remember off the top of my head for costings on those, so I can't really give you information that I can't remember. I think it was in the vicinity of like five, six hundred dollars from memory. Uh, the XRS kit was about 450 plus then the other parts for the Vogue Industries mount, which was 120. So it's not expensive stuff. Uh, tune, that was about $1,100 and that was a full dyno tune. Uh, and that was just overriding the factory PCM. You can get piggyback alpha tech ECUs, uh, but yeah, I just didn't bother with any of that. Uh, the biggest improvement on the, the tune is the transmission, uh, stopping it from hunting gears, and, uh, when, especially when you're going up slight inclines up hills. Uh, yeah, I don't really have too much more in terms of, um, in terms of what was specific to that. So that's really all I've got in terms of going through the mod list. Uh, I think I'll save uh, talking about combinations of the um, the UCA and uprights for another video so I might leave that to a, to another day so I'm just running short of time at the moment because we're about to go out for lunch so uh, yeah that's all for today's video uh, I'll be back shortly with another one and stay safe and have a good Christmas see you guys bye